Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. Today we're going to do something a little bit different as far as our garden tour goes. I wanted to focus on something that has been really important to us as far as building our garden goes. One of the questions that I get asked very often is how do you fund your garden? Um, to be completely honest with you guys, a lot of this stuff has come at either a massive discount and much of it for free. And so today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about building a community and utilizing your resources within a community. Um, some of my most favorite things to use um, as far as tools go for building my garden is things like Facebook Marketplace or our area has what we refer to as free cycle. Um, these are really, really important as far as trying to build on a budget. Um, free cycle, for those of you that may not know what it is, um, people within a community will post things for free uh, on their free cycle page and basically they just set it out on their lawn or in their driveway and then they just wait for you to come pick them up. Um, some people are generous enough that it's if it's something that you really want they'll hold it for you. Other times more often um, it's kind of first come first serve. So what that comes down to is A, having the means to go and pick up these things and B, having the time to go and pick them up. Um, as far as the means go, I have a Jeep that has been my savior when it comes to this stuff. Um, some of these items are large and it would be really hard to um, be able to just kind of pick them up on a whim without having the space to be able to get them home. Um, in addition to that, I also, uh, I also use our Facebook Marketplace for uh, local sales and discounts, a lot of yard sales. Um, I utilize those as well. So I today wanted to shoot this video and just kind of walk around, do the typical garden tour, but I really wanted to point out to you guys the stuff that I've either, either gotten for a discount or have gotten for free um, and maybe share some stories that you can utilize and help build your garden with as well. When it comes to funding a garden, first and foremost is the plants. Um, last year, we purchased the large majority of our starts from garden centers and big box stores. Um, typically, you spend, I would say on average, five to six dollars for starts, um, depending on the variety and the type of plant that you're looking for. So that can add up really quickly, especially when you have a ton of space to fill. Um, so over the winter, Tyler worked on building a seed starting station for us in the basement and I started to participate in uh, local seed swaps and or online seed swaps. Um, this is really beneficial when it comes to saving money for your garden. Um, one of our local plant swaps, I par actually participated in last year. I planned to participate this year, but due to COVID it was canceled. Um, but it was really fun last year. It was my very first plant shop I've ever gone to and it was a heck of an experience. So the idea behind plant swaps is you bring what you have and you offer them in swap form. So you can set up either online plant swaps um, where you can arrange to trade plants with local neighbors or in this case, they had set up a community plant swap where we all met one morning for an hour or so. And that was really great because I was just starting out. I was really nervous. I didn't have much to swap. So I kind of went into my backyard and dug up what I didn't need or had extras of, which was very minimal. I ended up taking seeds as well, um, just for sake of having something to trade. Um, but being just starting out and not having much, this was actually a really great program to participate in because they were actually offering people if you didn't have any type of plant to swap that you could even do so much as bake um, cookies or brownies and bring them to swap for plants. So uh, most of the time in these situations, people are very understanding of starting gardeners because uh, we've all been there. We've all just started, we've all had nothing, and we've all been wanting something to get us going. So uh, people were very gracious. Um, in this individual one, there was a prearranged half an hour where you could go around and you could make uh, agreements as far as your swap, maybe put your name on something, 
um, with the owner's permission. And then after that half an hour, uh, they honked a horn and everyone, it was a free for all. If you had your name on something, obviously you could go and pick that up um, if it was prearranged. Other than that, anything that was set out was basically a free for all. And you could just go up and take what you wanted and leave what you wanted. Um, or in some cases, especially towards the end, if you didn't have anything to trade, people were really gracious about just giving you the leftovers. So there's a lot of plants here that I had gotten from that plant swap. There was a ton of stuff that was in the garden last year that was from the plant swap. We had tomatoes and everything from them. Um, so that was a really great and cheap way for me to start building my garden. So if that's something you're interested in, I highly suggest that you look into that. Um, the second thing is seed swaps. So the one seed swap that I participated in the beginning of the year is called the Super Duper Seed Swap. It is nationwide, I believe. Um, and I will put a link to it. I actually did a video um, unboxing that seed swap, which was so much fun. This is a really great way to get started as well if you're on a budget and you don't have much to offer. Um, so after last year, we were just learning how to collect seeds. So the one thing I had an abundance of was sunflower seeds. And so I was able to put together these packets. The rules are you put together 20 packets with a handful of seeds in them. I think I put like 10 to 15 uh, sunflower seeds in each one of my packets. And then you pay to ship them to a location. Um, you pay shipping for that. It goes to that location. There is a gracious soul, and I apologize that I do not know their name, um, but there's a gracious soul that actually goes through and sorts all of that and then puts them into individual packets and ships them back. Now, so I mentioned that you're gonna pay to ship your seeds, and then you're also gonna pay an upfront cost that basically just covers shipping your actual swap seeds back to you. So I think for roughly maybe $10, I uh, received back a boatload of really awesome seeds. And for the most part, a lot of these were really special varieties that you can't necessarily purchase. Um, seed, seed starts or plant starts at your you know, local, local grocery store or big box store. I mean, these are gonna be like really special varieties. The majority of them all have come out of people's gardens. They are seeds that they saved. Um, and so sometimes you get a really cool backstory on that as well. Um, so starting with that, uh, that's the direction that we went in. The large majority of all of our plants that we have this year came from the Super Duper Seed Swap. We did also purchase seeds um, through various seed companies, which at the end of the day is still a great way to save money by starting your seeds instead of buying plant starts. So um, from there, I will take this forward. And as I go, I just wanna point out some of the things that I've gotten really cool deals on, just so that people can realize if you keep your eyes open and you just have faith, sometimes what you need just comes to you. We are expecting rain, so I'm gonna try and hurry it through this one. Um, it has not rained here in a while, but the clouds are definitely coming in, so my plants are not watered. They're thirsty right now. Unfortunately, they don't look the best. I do usually try to wait until my plants look the best to do garden tours, but just note that the rain is coming. That's why everything's really dry. So here we have our tomatoes, and down here, is um, one of the bins. This bin is really cool. It's actually on wheels. I think I got about five or six of them. I was literally just driving down the road one day. Um, I think I was taking Mika to a vet appointment and on the side of the road, these pots were there. I guess the family um, was moving out and just didn't have the means or want to use the space to take their pots with them. So they had just sat them out by the road, which I thought was super cool. I mean, these pots are awesome. It's hard to tell right now because they're full, but they actually have a great system at the bottom that allows you to fill up water uh, to a certain le level. And then the grate sits on top of that. And then you put, you fill the rest with dirt. So there's a way to kind of like continuously have water in there even after you've watered. It'll drain it to keep it off the roots and out of the dirt, but it'll be enough that the roots can actually soak up from the bottom. These things had to have been expensive. I think that I did some homework and by the end of the day, I realized that it was like well over $300 in pots um, that I got from that. So no shame in the stopping on the side of the road game. Here I have another one of those bins. We have our peppers in. The peppers are doing awesome. I actually picked from these and canned some of these uh, pepperoncini peppers the other day. And this is another one of those bins that was um, out that I picked up on wheels. 
Um, this here is a pot stand. I got that one also from Freecycle. Um, I have my marigolds in this right now. Down here, I also have another one of those pots on wheels that have our tomatoes in them. These are cherry variety. Um, these are blue goldberry cherries. We picked one the other day. It was pretty good, but the rest of them still have a ways to go. We have our on deck corn here, which is doing awesome. Um, it started with the frilly things at the top, but we don't have any actual corn on this yet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, down here we have more tomatoes and there's another one of those pots that is on wheels that I got uh, for free. <clears throat> Here's our zooks. I actually picked a zook today. Um, this one's still doing really good, obviously. You can see we've got a lot of zooks coming in. Back there, I have my strawberries um, on another plant stand that I got for free. Down here, we've got um, some beans, which we've been picking from. This is also in another one of those pots on wheels. Um, this lettuce plant is going, it's starting to go to seed, um, but this was all from lettuce seeds that we saved from last year. Uh, so we didn't have to pay for these seeds. I just picked them off of the lettuce plants last year once they went to seed. Here we have our chiminea. Chiminea was from a garage sale. I think I paid about $15 for this. Um, we've had it now for about a year and a half. So it is starting to crack. It's probably time to go. Um, but it lasted us long enough to enjoy it. Here we've got another zucchini. Um, this one is not doing too hot. It got sick. I did try and pull off some of the sick leaves. I watered it with some of our worm compost tea, um, water mix, and we are getting some new leaves coming in that look healthier, but as far as fruits go, it looks like these are all male flowers. I might be pulling this out and planting something else in here. Down here at the bottom, we've got more peppers. Um, I think these are jalapenos, and this is another one of those pots on wheels that I got for free. Um, right here, we've got our lemongrass, and you can kind of see there is a little table down there with really bright colored tiles on it that I got for free um, in Free Cycle. Here we've got more peppers. These also look like jalapenos. That's another one of those boxes on wheels that I got for free. Um, this here, we've got this mirror and this came from Tyler's parents. Um, so this was free. This is gonna end up in the garden once we find a place for it. Um, there's a table back here that I have um, some plants sitting on. That one we got for free. Can we just take a moment to like enjoy this beautiful, beautiful plant here. This is my pumpkin. It's a Cinderella pumpkin. Um, there was three in here. I dug them up and I put two on either side of the greenhouse. We've got some flowers coming on here. Um, it is possible to grow pumpkins in a pot, but um, I think it'll be best to kind of focus, like let just really one good one go. I'm not sure it'll be able to support um, many more than that. And then I got this um, trellis here from a garage sale for $2. So please don't mind the messy table. We do a lot of gardening, obviously. So this is where the table tends to look. Um, but we're starting out here. This uh, glass table, top table, I actually got for free. It was on a uh, free cycle and it was a little dingy around the edges, but we just took a, a can of spray paint to it and it worked out just fine. Um, these chairs all were free with free cycle. Underneath of our table here is an indoor outdoor rug we got from a garage sale. And then above our table here is an umbrella that we also got for free. The storm's coming in. So I hope this isn't too windy. Um, but I really want to keep shooting because I would like to get this video um, completed. So we're going to just head down to the garden. So for starters, my hammock, that was a garage sale. I think I got that for about $15. Um, here, this is really cool. This door, this gate, 
Um, I actually bought this from a Christmas shop last summer. They had a whole bunch of stuff that they had discounted, obviously. And this used to be like a sign holder, um, one of those A-frame sign holders. And so I bought that, I think I spent $10 on it. And I brought it home and Tyler was able to kind of take it apart and build this gate, which was really awesome. The little handle I got on Free Cycle that was on a piece of art um, that I just kind of took off and reused. If you follow our videos, we have mentioned before that this gate or this uh, fence right here, uh, it's actually pretty old and decrepit, but it does the job. <laughs> the fence actually came from my parents' house. They were taking down their old fence. Um, they had like a split wood fence, I think that's what they call it. Um, and it was just falling apart. So they took it down and this was all going to end up in the trash. We told them, hey, like, do you mind if we take some of your fencing off your hands? We need to put something around the garden bed because we had squirrels and bunnies that were eating all of our tomatoes. Um, so we put this up last year and knock on wood. Last year, we did not have any problems with uh, critters eating our fruits. And so far this year, we haven't, but like I said, knock on wood, because stuff just isn't exactly ripe yet. So we'll see. Uh, this little crate I got from a garage sale. Uh, this pitchfork I got for free. Um, this little base here we got for free. Obviously we paid a, all for the chicken coop. The chicken coop was all new wood. <laughs> that was not cheap. Hi ladies. And then this, this like stone down here um, we got for free, which is also littered throughout our um, our herb bed. Moving along here, uh, this little table thing was back in our woods, so I just pulled it out and used it. I have no idea what it actually is, but it was back there. Um, these holders and the pots we got for free on Free Cycle. Um, the trellises in the back here, those were my mom. She gave them to us. Um, a lot of the T posts that we have here, some of them we paid for, but a lot of them I actually got on the uh, yard, uh, yard sale website or marketplace. The lady that I bought them from was selling them for a dollar. She had hundreds of them that she was trying to get rid of. So she was selling each post for a dollar, which is a steal. When I was purchasing them, the first few that we did get, we purchased from Tractor Supply, and I think they were roughly about $6 a piece. That adds up really, really fast. So you'll actually see these tea posts all throughout our garden. We've got them holding up the trellises and then we've also utilized them for the fence around the garden bed. So honestly, dollar tea posts for the win. This particular garden bed right here was made out of my old swing set at my parents' house. My dad built me this one garden bed. Um, so that was upcycled. And again, the trellises were from my mom. Um, again, with the, all the hanging uh, flowers that you'll see in the back on my gardens here, those were all free. So I got the um, pots and the holders all for free from Free Cycle. Um, the hay bales were purchased on Marketplace. And I just need to stick a pop in here and we gotta look at these tomatoes. Can you just look at these tomatoes? Oh my goodness. Look at all of them. And I don't know if I can get a look of it. No, you can't really see him. All the way there in the back, that is a massive tomato right back there. I'm so excited. So this particular variety is pink Berkeley tomato, pink Berkeley tie dye. It's my first year growing them. Um, but that's why you'll see like the different like kind of stripes through them. They're really cool. I'm excited to see what they look like once um, they start to blush a little bit, but they are really cool. I'm super excited to grow something different and it's just fun to watch them because they just have so many colors to them already. This little wind chime, Tyler actually won from our family reunion two years ago, I guess it was now. Um, Let's see what else. And then back here, uh, this trellis is actually a baby gate or a gate of sorts that someone was giving away on free cycle. I decided I was going to use that as a trellis and it's working perfectly. It's just too bad that it's not like double the size because these cucumbers just want to keep going. Um, and then those back trellises I got on free cycle. Um, this little window we actually made out of scraps from wood that came in a box 
from our dishwasher. So we got creative and made a little window. Um, all of my shepherd hooks I've gotten, I think except for one, I think one of them my mom bought me, but the rest of them were all on either free cycle or um, at garage sales. So you save money that way. We pulled our cabbage, we pulled, oh, our carrots, and then a lot of beets Tyler pulled recently. So this garden bed is quickly like thinning out. Like this is definitely becoming empty, which is gonna be cool because it's almost time to start thinking about fall gardening. Um, but we're gonna wait and see what these guys do. And then we obviously had a surprise. I think that is a zucchini uh, back there. Not really sure how that got there, but there he is. And we've got cucumbers coming got quite a few in here maybe tomorrow will be cucumber picking and then my swiss chard look at how pretty this is this is the rainbow swiss chard so i'm going to be picking this for dinner tonight as far as garden art goes i got this from a garage sale this little pot down here we got for free uh this hanging pot we got for free this shepherd hook came from tyler's parents um this little lantern i got at a garage sale all of this yarrow right here was 120 percent free because it was actually like randomly growing in the yard in the back so we just dug it up and planted it there i didn't expect it to take over like this y'all but it did so it's doing its thing um this watering can i got at a garage sale this little oil can I got in free cycle. We're gonna head out into the front yard so I can show you some stuff. Everything looks really thirsty out here now and the, the storm looks like it's blowing over, so I don't know. So I've moved a few things around. I put my rooster back out here. Um, we got him from free cycle. Um, that's the shepherd hook I think my mom got me. My birdhouse fell off, so I need to put something else up there. As for my zinnias and marigolds, they're thirsty. I'll water them if the storm doesn't come through. But I got this really cool um, little metal bucket thing. I guess it's a wash bin. I uh, got that for free. Then throughout the garden here, um, a lot of the decorations in here are my grandparents. So this little elephant was my grandmother's that she gave to me. Um, I've got a little Indian sitting back here. That was my grandma and grandpa's. He watches the garden. Um, my milk jug, my milk carton thing, I got for free. My bird bath I got at a garage sale. Bird feeder was free. This little like step thing that I have here. I got it at a garage sale for like two bucks. It was awesome. It's a little rusty, but I don't even care because I think it looks good in the garden. I kind of like rusty things. I've got another shepherd hook here that you can't see because my grass is just growing so tall this year. It's as tall as I am. It got so much bigger this year than it did last year. I'm so excited. I got this little like heart-shaped planter holder from a garage sale. I had my, um, what are they called? Black heart potato plant in here last year that looked gorgeous. And I meant to buy one and do it again this year, but I didn't. So I just stuck in some bee mix. Um, this chair was from Free Cycle. This little um, podium was garage sale. This entire pot, including the plant, was free from a gracious neighbor down the road. His mother had passed away and he was looking for someone to care for her plants because he didn't know how to. Um, and he said he just didn't want his plants to die. So there she be. Uh, this chair, garage sale. Um, I don't know about these pots, but I'm sure there's a story there. And then our rain catcher, um, I got at a garage sale too. I actually broke it, um, so Tyler is working on trying to mend it. I dropped it and the spout fell off, but we're, it's a work in progress. Then uh, this I was I actually got from Free Cycle, or no, I got this from the Plant Swap. It's just a little 
pot. I was gonna get rid of it, but Tyler said he wants to use it for something. And then this wood, um, not this wood, we paid for this wood, but this wood and the trellis is going to be our next project. We, I want a grape arch. I've wanted a grape arch for a really long time. And I bought grapes last year and they obviously didn't get very big last year. And then this year they started to get big. We actually were getting grapes. So we decided that we were going to leave them be where they are right now. They're back in the in-ground bed. Um, we decided we were gonna let them stay. Um, the best time from what I've researched to transplant grapes is either in the spring, early spring or fall. Um, so we obviously don't want to mess with them right now. Plus it's so hot. It, nothing would want to be transplanted right now. But we are going to work on building the grape arch. And so the reason why I bring this up is because this wood and those trellises were all free. Um, somebody had posted them up on FreeCycle and I ran up and grabbed them. Awesome for free wood. So this will actually be just enough for us to do the grape arch. Actually some of this was, was free. I did pick this up. Um, cause I saw like some of them had cuts on them. So I thought that would be really cool for like a little extra decoration at the top. So actually, yeah, I think, I think all of this is free. I think the majority of this was from FreeCycle. Um, we've used up all the stuff we paid for. It's hard to see my little animals, but I have an owl in here from Tyler's mom. And then my cow I got from FreeCycle. Uh, Buddha I got from a garage sale. So you can see it's fairly easy and we're not even talking plants. I mean, this, this, uh, lavender that I have here, that was a plant swap, I believe. Actually, she might've just given me that. I think she just gave me that, that and two butterfly bushes. I'll take you around back, show you a few other things. So the lilacs we got from my mom for free, those all came from my mom's house. This is one of the butterfly bushes that I got with the lavender, and the other one is right here. Um, this wood, what do they call these? Wood circles. Um, that was free. And then walking back here, walking back here, this is very much my plant swap section. Um, so these flowers that I got here were from the plant swap, but can we just take a moment? Look at how beautiful those are. My sunflowers coming up. I'm excited about that. Look at these. These ones are my favorite. I love the pink and yellow. Oh my gosh. I think that that's like my favorite color mixture for flowers is pink and yellow. Um, I got this mystery plant, which I've talked about on numerous occasions. Some people, some viewers have sent me messages of what they think it is, and I've looked it up and nothing quite matched it, but it's got these really pretty purple under leaves and these really big, broad um, green leaves on top. They do seed, so they'll go to flower and they'll seed. I'll try and get pictures of that when that happens. Strawberries we did pay for. Um, the lamb's ears, that was a plant swap. Um, the hose reel, which is currently not being utilized because we're lazy, um, that is from a garage sale. Over here in the herb bed, this tree right here is a dogwood. That one was free from, um, Green Neighbor Festival in Frederick, eh, two years ago now. This right here is, um, oregano. That came for free from the plant swap. The white yarrow came out of our yard. A lot of this other stuff we paid for. Um, I did, this was a yarrow, the purple yarrow I, I paid for. I can't tell if something like crawled in here and laid down and that's what squished everything or if the yarrow is just top heavy and falling, but it's a problem because we have plants under here. I tried to trim it back a little, but it looks like what I trimmed died. So I didn't appreciate getting a haircut. Um, this is marjoram right here. This was given to me this year. Um, I think it was either free cycle or plant, plant swap. We talked a little bit over at the chicken coop about these stones. Um, these were all free. So we kind of used them to create a path through the herb bed. There is a path. It does go this way, but again, 
yarrow and then mint like just taking over so I need to do something about that look at this little sunflower he's getting ready he's getting ready to show his face so pretty um, a lot of these plants came from my mom's house these little decorations came from my mom lilacs obviously came from mom um, this here is a bird bath in progress. I tried to get creative with garden art and the glue didn't work, but so it's not very sturdy, but it's doing its job right now. So this little, I guess it's like a chips and salsa dish, uh, was free cycle. And then this vase down here was a garage sale. So I just kind of put it together and turn it into a bird bath. I've recently started following a page on Facebook, something along the lines of I think it's just garden art um and it is so awesome to see what people do with stuff that they would just get rid of otherwise um i get super jealous so i've been trying to like get creative and make stuff but i'm telling you there's a special glue you gotta use i think i used hot glue for that and it just did not pan out if you go through our gardens um i think pretty much every one of our gardens has a sign in it um this is literally just like one of those signs that you find at um plant shops that'll have like the name of the plant on it and the price um there was a plant shop that i went to um, a garden store that was closing so they were selling all those for like 50 cents a piece so i bought a few we customize those signs by using um oil-based like pens i got them from amazon they're awesome because you can virtually write on anything and it'll actually hold up for a little while the next step is the greenhouse. And so obviously, um, this was a blessing. Uh, this does not happen <laughs> very often where you get, where you get uh, just pure blessings like this. But our neighbors uh, know and share, thank goodness, the passion that we have for gardening. And they were getting rid of their greenhouse and they thought of us. So um, I think that the biggest takeaway from this one is going to be not so much sales and free cycle as it is community. Um, I think that it's a really big important part of homesteading or having a garden focus or you know growing your own food is to build community behind that. You're gonna learn a lot from the people that are around you. There's people around you that are interested in this, I swear. I know that I said, you know, one of the big reasons why I wanted to start YouTube was because maybe we could have, uh, we could find people in our area that were interested in doing the same things. We were blessed because we actually had a brand new house get built across the street and our neighbors that moved in there shared the same likes that we did. So, um, but community is really important. And if nothing, to learn from people that have already done it or to hand down your information that you've learned to people that are just starting out. And that's also a really big part of our focus here on Granted Gardens is we say this all the time, we are not professionals. We do not know what we're doing. A lot of times we'll say, hey, this is just, you know, surprise tomatoes or, oh, hey, we're gonna just try this and see what happens. Like, um, we're literally just kind of flying by the seat of our pants right now with doing all this stuff, but we're sharing because we hope that maybe people that are watching um, can learn from either the things that worked for us or the mistakes that we made. Um, so I wanna show you the greenhouse. There's actually a new addition in here too, which was free, so. I got some, there's a lot of stuff in here that's free. I'll show you. So here is our greenhouse. Um, a quick review, the table was free, the chair was garage sale. This plant here, this fern is just an offshoot of the one that I showed you from the front yard. So that one was free. Um, and if you go inside here, this little rug is an indoor outdoor rug, which is why it's in the greenhouse. I thought it would make the floor look nicer. That was a garage sale find. This is my newest addition, is this little potting bench, and I love it. Look at how rustic it is, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love this potting bench. So this potting bench I just picked up within the last week or so, um, and it was listed in a junk post on Facebook. They had listed this and had asked people, somebody, along with a lot of other things, 
um, if they had like a truck or something that they would be able to pay them to haul some of this stuff away. And so I reached out to her and I said, hey, you know, I can't, I don't have a truck to help you haul stuff, but I will take that potting bench off your hands. <laughs> and she was like, no, like it's old and it's, it's not sturdy and it's falling apart. And I was like, it sounds perfect. Like I'll take it. <laughs> and I think that that's the other thing um, about doing a garden and doing it on a budget and utilizing some of these tools that I'm sharing with you is you have to have a creative mind. You have to have a creative mind. You have to have a touch of inspiration to you. And it also definitely helps if you've got somebody that's handy <laughs> to kind of help put things together. Um, but you know, somebody's trash was my treasure and it works perfectly. I said, oh, I've got this greenhouse and I'm just really right now looking for something to put in there with shelves, something that I can use the space with. And she's like, oh, it'd be perfect for a greenhouse. And it is, it's absolutely perfect. So, um, you know, you can find opportunities to add to your garden in all kinds of places. And one of those places just may well be a trash post, ironically enough. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled. Um, and then this bench, I got this little stool I got from a garage sale recently um, and I just wanted something that I could sit on while I was out here. Those other chairs were kind of hard to get around. And then of course this potting bench I also got for free. Um, it was just sitting on the side of the road one day. Um, I drove past it two times actually and then came back and um, the second time I drove past it I put my name on it with my phone number and said I'd be by to pick it up around 5 o'clock. Um, and if nobody, you know, wanted it or if it was okay, or if anyone had any questions to call me, um, and they had gone in and out, I, cause I had seen that there, there was a car there later. So they obviously had come back, um, and no one called me with any issues. So I went by and picked it up. And then last but not least, which I'm sure I'm still missing stuff, but I did want to show you guys this cause I don't know if I highlighted this much. Um, this is our composting, uh, set up in the back. So this is actually made out of skids or pallets that I had in the basement. Um, these have been repurposed a couple of times. When I first moved in here, I had used them and I built a, a bench out of them. Um, and I had put just some pillows, like exterior pillows down and was using them as like a little bench. Um, then we had them in the basement. We were just using them to pile stuff up off of the floor on them. And then now we are repurposing them and using them as our compost pile. Um, I'll be honest with you, compost is something that we're new to and we don't really spend that much time on it, okay? So this is not perfection, please do not take notes. But I, what I'm showing you here is the setup and the use of upcycling, okay? The power of upcycling. Um, and so we've got two little sections here because we had just enough pallets to do two sections. We were initially just planning on doing one. Um, and obviously this is where I dump some of our um, chicken bedding once I clean it out. So um, there really isn't an easy way to get back there either right now. In the winter time, all of this dies off. So it's really easy to get back here. Um, but that is gonna be a plan for us to kind of do something with this space. Uh, there's a lot of cleanup that needs to go on before we do that though, so further down the road. But for now, we've got compost piles. While we are on the subject of upcycling and reusing and repurposing and saving money, this here is a catalupa tree. About twice a year, this tree, and that is a mosquito, about twice a year, this tree um, gets these worms on it. And I've done the homework and it's lengthy. I'll, I'll spare you the details. Maybe I'll just do a separate video on this tree one time. Um, but take a close look. Like make sure you look at this tree and take a good note of the size of these leaves and um, just how big it is. I mean, it's massive. Um, this will be shredded down, stripped down to absolutely nothing in probably about a week's time. So anyways, the catalupa tree, uh, once, a, once or twice a summer usually, um, we get catalupa worms and there's this relationship between these worms and this tree that is extremely interesting. If you really wanna go down a rabbit hole, I highly suggest. Um, but these worms usually will just destroy this tree. There's really nothing we can do about it. Um, but I did some research and I realized that catalupa worms are actually a chicken snack and chickens love them. So since we're walking past the tree, we're going to find a brave soul and we're going to feed them to the chickens. <laughs> so this is what a catalupa worm looks like. Very similar to like a horn worm, but they are two different things. Um, this is tiny. I mean, this is a, this is a 
baby. They get just as big, if not bigger than hornworms. I mean, they're very similar, but like here's my thumb, just so you can see the size of this. I mean, this is an infant, so they get much bigger than this, but the chickens love them, so free chicken snacks. Buddha I paid for it, but he's a few years old and he's peeling and we've tried to address that, but it's just happening. So we'll have to spray paint him again. Um, these flowers we got from my mom. Um, I do have, yep, two tiki torches here. This one obviously man down. Um, but these tiki torches were free cycle, which actually looks really cool at night. If you have the other ones standing up and you have them lit behind Buddha, it just looks really tropical and cool. Um, one of my favorite pieces is just this piece of wood, okay? So this is like, I don't know, a root system of some sort maybe, and it is just so pretty. I love this. Um, we've had this here for a couple years now, so it's pretty dried out, but isn't that neat? True story, that root wood thing that we use as garden art came from the woods. It was back there and there's more where that came from um so that's something that's you know really cool too and you shouldn't necessarily um not think of or or, or take for granted is that you can harvest garden art as well um i didn't show you but along the front garden bed the cottage garden bed um we had like a ton of stones that were dug up when we had the porch put in, um, it was dirt and stones, which that dirt pile turned into that garden. Um, that's why the garden's even there, was to cover up the dirt pile. And then I kind of went through and sifted out all the stones and lined the garden bed with those stones. So you can get really creative with stuff that you even already have on your property. Um, but with that being said, uh, just a few notes. If you are local, we do have a Granted Gardens Plant and Seed Swap page on Facebook. So make sure that you comment below and I'll make sure that I send you the link. Um, that's something that's really great to participate in. Uh, we have a lot of people that actually follow that and um, we've had a lot of people offer things this year. So it's been great, especially with the plant swap, the local one being um, canceled due to COVID. I think there's been a lot more action on that page as well. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for other places that you can find stuff like this or stuff that's worked for you, um, I highly suggest that you share with us. I would love to hear it. Oh, and this is one last thing. This is like a raised garden bed um, that I got for free as well. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing with it yet, but um, the lady said that it would be good for strawberries. <laughs> we might try that. Um, keep your eyes peeled and stay creative and do not, do not let budget hold you back from having a garden of your dreams. It is not necessary. Um, it might mean that it might take longer for you to build that garden, which is fine. Um, but just know that if you keep your eyes peeled and your heart keeps asking for it, I believe it'll be delivered. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you guys with stuff. Um, and, you know, keep an eye out. Definitely join some of those other garden pages, like the Garden Art on Facebook. I mean, that's really cool because you get a lot of inspiration from people that have already done it. Um, some, but, some but, like having some things that you might think are junk um, can be very easily up upgraded into something that can be used in the garden i.e like that vase and that chip bowl um, was a perfect bird bath once i get the right glue for it <laughs> so i just wanted to share this i think that if anything if i can just instill in somebody's heart that it's possible um and know that you know it's almost more fun doing it this way because gardens are something they're alive and they're constantly changing and your ideas and your perceptions are constantly changing as well. So it's really cool that you don't have to just like, you don't get to just run out and grab whatever you want from a store and put it together and then it's done. You know, that's what's fun about gardening is that it's, it's never complete. It does not matter how far you, you go, how much stuff you have, your garden is never complete. So have that inspiration, take that inspiration and make 
make something beautiful out of it. And if it takes you a while or it means that, you know, you got to take somebody else's something and turn it into treasures, you know, that's the fun of it. So if anyone has any really cool, like garden art stuff that they have, oh my gosh, please post pictures below. I want to see pictures. Or make sure that you go on to our Granite Gardens Facebook page and post there. I would love to see them. That all you have to do is go on Facebook and type in visit Granted Gardens and we should pop right up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.